Thank you so much for spending your morning with me. It was a joy to be able to bring the word this morning and truly I felt so loved and supported uh, that there were open hearts and open minds to hearing a new voice. So thank you. It was truly a blessing to me. Just to recap our message so that you can have some fruitful discussion in your life groups. We talked about Jesus and his encounter with the woman caught in adultery in John chapter 8. And we also talked about his encounter and response to the people there in the crowd holding a stone ready to throw toward this woman. I mentioned that there are some emotions that maybe you were feeling and I challenged you to lean into those emotions, whether they be good, bad, hard, uncomfortable. What emotions maybe did you experience during the message or after that you've processed and been able to identify did they reveal something to you about a certain sin, whether it be your own or the sins of another person that affected you? What is an emotion you had and why, if you feel so comfortable sharing? And also, um, wanted to insert that challenge again, that do, do your sins break your heart the way that they break God's heart? And do your sins evoke the same anger, frustration, sadness as the sins of your neighbor or friend or spouse or fill in the blank. What is your response to Jesus saying, go and sin no more? I gave a few examples, right? There was that like, oh, phew, let's not get carried away, away with this grace thing. Uh, you know, it's good that he ended up with some instruction. People need to change their ways. And maybe the flip of that would be this kind of defensive response that I've experienced, like, ah, oh, it's impossible, Jesus, that's too hard. I hope that all of us can arrive at this place of this is hard, acknowledging that it is hard, and also just asking Jesus for help because he will help us. And he has given us his Holy Spirit to be a helper to us. Um, lastly, I just want to... Uh, encourage you in your groups to pray and depending on how close you are or how long you've been meeting or how comfortable you feel sharing maybe it's a, a same-sex group maybe it's a diverse mixed co-ed whatever the dynamics are I encourage you to spend some time in prayer uh, it can be quiet prayer, but I just encourage you as we speak about something so sensitive, but also so relatable. It's not like anyone sitting in your room hasn't experienced sin. I mean, hasn't committed sin, had sins committed against them, felt hurt, felt betrayed. This is the human experience in a broken world, right? So my encouragement to you is to lean in even to some of those what feels like awkward silences. You don't have to fill them. And go to God in prayer, asking him for help as we pursue being Jesus followers that think first about our own sin. I've had quite a bit of time in preparation for this message, thinking about whose sins do I think more about, <laughs> other people or my own? And to, to be, again, so focused on my own has produced a lot of fruit as I can approach each day differently with the help of the Holy Spirit. So God bless you, friends. I pray that you have a fantastic week and that the Spirit of God is on you, giving you peace and helping you process uh, whatever it is you're walking through right now. God bless you.